Welcome to the Kemp IT Law Vlog. I'm Deirdre Moynihan. Today we're looking at the GDPR's approach to personal data breaches. A personal data breach is a breach of security that leads to the accidental or unlawful destruction, loss, alteration, unauthorised disclosure of or access to personal data. It's unusual at the moment for a few weeks to go by without another big data breach hitting the headlines. November saw Uber report a breach affecting 57 million people globally, and prior to that we had Equifax, Wonga and many others. One of the key changes to be introduced under the GDPR is the requirement that breaches be reported to the relevant regulator within 72 hours of becoming aware of the breach, unless it's unlikely to result in a risk to the rights and freedoms of individuals. It's therefore vital, given the frequency with which data breaches occur and the new 72-hour countdown clock, that companies that process personal data have robust processes and procedures in place to quickly and effectively identify and react to any breach. These should include 1. Creating and maintaining a list of who should be informed and by when. For example, management, legal compliance and any data protection officers should be immediately informed of the breach and provided with all available information. Employees, customers, suppliers and other affected people, if required to be informed, should be informed and that can happen at a later date. Two. It's important to make sure that you get support and assistance from appropriately qualified and knowledgeable people to investigate the breach so that you can establish how it has happened, what the possible consequences are and who will be affected. Three, remember to create and maintain records of all breaches, irrespective of whether you have to report those to the regulator or an individual. Four, notify the regulator as and when you need to, and remember to continually update them with more information as it becomes available. And five, and importantly, take appropriate steps to remedy the breach and to reduce its impact. We'd also recommend that, if possible, controllers assess the potential impact of any breach as part of a data protection impact assessment carried out prior to any new processing of personal data that controllers and processors conduct dry runs of their processes and procedures for dealing with breaches as part of their standard penetration testing schedule. And finally, it may be appropriate for controllers to prepare a non-binding list of breaches that may not be reportable to the regulator or to individuals because the nature of the breach is unlikely to result in a risk to the rights and freedoms of the affected people. An example here would be where stolen information is protected by a secure and uncompromised key that is not available to the third party in possession of the information. If you're interested in other aspects of the GDPR, we have a number of vlogs and blogs on our website at www.kempitlaw.com.